please, no, no! So, okay, you're facing a problem with the 3D printed thread. So I designed this thing to demonstrate to you. So when we design a thread in a Fusion 360 for 3D printing, and it mainly happened with a beginner and somebody who just got into designing stuff, for 3D printing purposes. So when you design threads and you just print it out. So the problem is the tolerance. So when I try to screw this thing into this, it's just super tight. You can see it's like super tight and it's hurting my hand too. And it's not going inside. It's, it's like super tight and the noise you can hear is. God. So this thing sucks because it's not designed properly for 3D printing because 3D printing is not that precise as you think because just like a toothpaste you take it out a toothpaste from a tube and put it on your brush so what happened it comes out round but it expands same like that there's a distance between the nozzle and the bed so as soon as the filament comes out of the nozzle let's say a 0.4 millimeter diameter of filament comes out and it expands this test print that i have designed this cylinder have like 20 milli millimeter in, in, in a diameter and this cylinder i'm gonna insert inside but it's not going inside you can see it's not getting in and the reason behind this thing is because this thing is 20 millimeter and when i printed it the filament expanded now this thing is pretty hard to get inside this even though it should have but because 3d printing is not super precise that you're thinking so i have taken this out it was stuck so now I'll go with 19.8 millimeter one and you can see a bit hard but you can see it can go inside and come out really easy it's a perfect fit i would say so let's try with 19.6 millimeter one and it's going to be super smooth like you can see you can see It is super smooth. I hope I'm not giving any double meaning thing. So why this happens and how you can fix your 3D printable thread easily with this simple method in Fusion 360. So watch till the end and make sure you hit the like button because I'm not getting so many likes. So hit the like button and let's begin. Okay, so let's begin the redesigning of this headphone holder. So first thing what we're gonna do, let's just delete this old threads here. So now what you can do when you are designing threads that can be easily fit which I have to like 3D print. So first go here, then click on thread. Boom. I always select the model and then select what size you want. So I'm going with 20 millimeter. Now what you can do is you have to increase the tolerance. So select this th side of the thread and the other side of the thread and then press pull. And now you can decrease, I mean, the width of the thread. So now I got gone with 0.1 millimeter and boom. Now you have created spacing to fit another thread and that's a really easy thing now go to the screw now now it's time for screw first like always create a thread now again select this side of the thread and the other side of the thread this side too then press minus 0.1 mm once you do this okay now you can do is go to the timeline right here and then you select the chamfer okay uh whatever you want to uh, i'll go with one millimeter that's great and now you take the timeline again and put it forward and there you go now you got a chamfer pretty easily here now you can fit this thing now you can see it's pretty easy so let's print it again and see how this is gonna be okay i hope you saw the whole tutorial properly so let's give it a try so this is uh, our new updated thread a bolt and this way we're gonna insert it so let's give it a try hmm so how easy it's gonna be and you can see it's super easy now I can literally like insert this thing in here super easy now it's super smooth so this is how you design threads in order to 3d print now it's super useful now I can easily hang my headphone on it so that's great So that's it for today's video and I'm making I'm going to start a series for beginners who are getting into 3d printing so if you like that make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel goodbye